Tanya with Riley and Company. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you are having a fabulous day. We've got a lot to show you and hopefully we will get to make two cards for this shop and play at home. So I'm gonna get you turned around and we'll get started. For those of you that don't know us, it occurred to me that we've got a whole bunch of really new people out there so I wanted to just do a real quick brief on what Riley and Company is and then look at this little guy we're gonna try to make this card for those of you that were lucky enough to get the card kit it has sold out again um, this is one of the cards and if we have enough time we're gonna make another card too so for those of you that don't know us, um, Riley and Company is a rubber stamp line out of Kansas, center of the U.S., technically. Um, we have several different lines. Riley, of course, is our little moose. And we have him in about 300 different type stamps, doing different things, all kinds of different things, from the backs of your cards, right to being a doctor which is really fun for people that are sick a nurse okay and our stamps are rubber stamps with a cling mounting on them and we make them right here at our location in our shop riley also has a bunch of friends okay tucker's one of them and he is actually my dog my dog's white though in matching dyes, we have Smiling Bert, and we have Felix, and we have Leroy. Leroy, he is French, so he's not Leroy, he's Leroy. So those are our Riley's buddies that we also have that gets in all kinds of shenanigans with him. And then we have our Funny Bones line, and a lot of people are starting to know about Funny Bones line, our Funny Bones line. We have, if you notice, this is uh, our latest release hit 927, I believe. So we have 927 of these hilarious things for the insides of your cards. For example, yes, we are aware of how obnoxious we are when we're together. Nope, we don't care. Whoever thinks money doesn't buy happiness, transfer that bleep to my account. I did a bleep just in case there's kids around. Laughter is the best medicine, unless you have diarrhea. I don't have a drinking problem. I have a sophisticated wine ritual. Big difference. Riley and his buddies like their, like their cocktails, so there's a lot of sayings about cocktails, and they also like their coffee very, very much. Happy birthday. You're way less wrinkly than I thought you would be by now. 927 of these little guys out there. The most popular one from the last release is this crazy one. Late in the evening, far, far away, there was a glow beyond the horizon, and I knew, deep in my heart, it was your birthday cake. <laughs> the older you get, the better you get. Unless you're banana. Happy birthday anyway. I'm torn between wanting a snack and looking like one. And that is on the card that we're doing today. Now, the special for this um, event is buy any six Funny Bones or Riley's. You can throw Riley's in there or even our Giggler line. Any six stamps this size, okay? And you will get to choose your seventh one. Now, it'll put the seventh stamp free on your order but you need to comment which stamp you want in the comment section otherwise if you don't we will send you one of our choice instead of your choice so by by six get the seventh one free your choice no code needed okay now moving along we also have a super fun line called um the gigglers actually it's not a line it's just stamps we came out with and we have a giggling moose it only seemed appropriate, you know, if we have 900 funny bones, right? Oops. Anyway, that's a Riley. He's not a giggler. But we have the cow as a giggler. And we have a raccoon as a giggler. And our giraffe as a giggler. And, of course, we have the matching dies to go with them. And gigglers are 
really fun, especially when you put them on an action wobble. And for those of you that don't know what action wobbles, I'll show you, we'll show you what those are in just a second. They're a little mechanism that you attach to your card. Super easy. So we have those. And then, of course, we have two more lines. We have the Mushroom Lane line, which is a little city of Mushroom Lane houses. So there are bright polka dots. There's a church. There's a police station. Because, you know, those gnomes, they're trouble. And... There is a school and a shop and a pool and all kinds of fun stuff and houses for them to live in and apartments. We just came out with these two and a little an extra teapot. This is our second teapot. And the great thing about Mushroom Lane is you can make them 3D with our dies. Okay, so the dies look like, I'm gonna try to find the one for this one, it'll confuse you. So the die set looks like this, okay? So there's the main one. The full stamp, you stamp on paper, and you color it really, really well, like this, and then photocopy, because you're going to be cutting several layers, right? Photocopy, don't color four times, photocopy. And these are the different stamps that make all these layers come alive, or dies, I'm sorry, that make all these layers come alive. And then you get something that looks like that, that you can very easily put on the front of a card. That is the Mushroom Lane line. Oh, and we have the clay pots too. We just introduced two new clay pots and I love them. It could be for the, you know, the wealthy end. I'm not sure, but it could be for the wealthy end of Gnome Land. And finally, we have our dress up line. And this could be quite possibly one of my favorite lines that we have. I love the Funny Bones line because you can use them in every card you do regardless. But the dress up line reminds me of paper dolls when I was a kid. And so we have several different basic um, stamps that you use and you dress them up. Hence, Dress Up Riley. So we have a fox and a raccoon all in one set. So I don't know if I have them here. Then we have a pair of moose and we also have a pair of cows. Okay, so that's three and our latest is a pair of giraffes and I just love him. That's where this little guy comes in. And then there are 28, I believe, or 29 dress up sets or accessory sets to go with them. So for example, this is the birthday set and they have their matching dice. And this is a fishing set. And I brought some fun examples to show you of some other sets that we have. We have a dress up beach set little bikini on a moose and it fits the giraffe too a giraffe in a bikini oh yeah and under the sea sets we put this little guy on a cow he becomes a mercow the little mermaid sets on a cow it has all the castles and fish and all kinds of fun stuff we have a party set of course because these guys get in so much trouble cocktails <clears throat> excuse me and of course a lampshade you know we have a professional set, and I love this set. It has the fireman, a police, it has construction worker, a professional worker, and a chef, I believe. And what starts happening is once you get one set or the next set or another set, you can start mixing the pieces, all right? So you can put this in there and that in there from all different sets, and your the possibilities are endless with the dress up. Just a couple more. Here's a dress up sports set for the summer. It has soccer and volleyball, baseball. I think there's maybe a golf club in there. Not sure. And beach balls. Here's the birthday sets. I absolutely love this set. It comes with a set of numbers. I love that set. I use the balloons a lot. And here's the fishing sets that I showed you earlier. And then we have a summer fun set. I think I said that was the summer fun earlier. This one, this is our sports sets. And then here's our summer fun set. Has stuff for the 4th of July and barbecue and all kinds of fun stuff. All right. So that is the dress up line. Now, I think I have got you completely caught up on the lines that we have. 
also wanted to let everyone know, whether you know us or not, we have more tools and stuff on our website that you may not know about. So we do carry the action wobbles. All right, we've got those in 12 packs on our website. They stick on your card and then they stick on whatever item you want to wobble. And that's as easy as it is. Super fun to put in a card. People will have hours of entertainment. Then we have also, this is brand new on our website. We have a set of tapes for you mushroom lovers that do the mushroom lane lovers that do the 3D pop-up. This is what I use. You get all three rolls, I think, for $4.99. It's a great deal. We also have card covers. These are like book covers for your card. So if there's a card that you really love and you don't want to um, have it fall apart by people touching it and picking it up and saying, ooh, how lovely is that? For example, like this little guy's falling off because I've pulled it in and out so much to show people. Card covers are the way to go. We also have A2 size white envelopes. Has a little square flap on it. And we have clear envelopes. Did you know that you can mail stuff in these? You can. All right, and we also, everybody always asks me, what colors do I use to color Riley? E33, E35, E47, always. All the time, my three favorite Copic colors ever. We have them <clears throat> in both the sketch and the chow. I got a phone call this morning. Someone was asking me what the difference is be between a sketch and a chow. Okay. She was new to this. And that is a very, very good question. Let me get the comparable color here. That is a blender pen I just showed you. But this is a chow. It's got a round barrel. This is a sketch. It's got an oval, oval barrel. Now, both of them have tip ends. Okay. Both of them have chisel ends. All right. So the marker itself, the only difference in the marker itself is this barrel holds like a half an ounce, maybe, or less more ink. These are refillable. The great thing about these, they are fabulous. They're refillable. And um, these come in over 300 colors. And these come in 130-ish colors. Not for sure. These are less expensive. These are more expensive. So what I did, it said some people are just um, sketch fanatics. And all of their colors are this barrel. Or all of their colors are this sketch. My OCD completely understands that. I went the cheaper route, got all my colors in the chow first, and then went back in with the colors that this does not come in, and I bought them in Sketch. So for the Riley sets, we have them both for the time being in Sketch and Chow. Okay. And we also carry the blender. Now the blender is colorless and it's odorless. It lays down a layer of alcohol for the other alcohol pins to blend into. It can also blend two light colors together, but you can do that with your marker as well. And this is also a fabulous little eraser tool in case you get outside the line, you can just push that color right back into the line. And finally, did not mean to go this long, but we have our tote charms. This is 2020 and this is 2021. So, now let's get started on our project. I am so excited to start this. This was in our June card kit. And all of our, when we put out our card kits, sorry, I have not had enough coffee today. When we put out our card kits, we always put the individual cards in packs like this. Okay. And all of the pre-cut papers are in there. All of the pre-cut stamped images are in there. All you have to do is look at the instructions and assemble. So I'm going to pretend that I have instructions here. And then we are going to start coloring and assembling. All right. So you'll have all your pieces. See, they're pre-die cut for you. They don't come with markers. I just stuck my markers in there. It does not come with markers. All right. So when you get this card kit, you're going to have two 
pieces of paper. We're only going to use one at the moment. All right. You have two other <clears throat> pieces that will sit just like this on that card. Okay. And on your instructions, it shows. Now, what you're going to need to do, I'm going to fold mine over, but it works much better if you score it first. So I'm going to take this and just align it up. If you don't want to score it, you can follow along with me. All right. But I'm going to lay my paper on here. I'm not going to glue it. I'm just going to bend it over towards the back. Okay. Then I'm going to take this piece and line it up the other side. And we're going to fold it over to the back. Now, if you score in a half an inch, it will do the exact same thing for you. I just forgot to score it before I sat down. Mm -hmm. So, well, you know how that goes. So I'm just going to fold mine. And you're going to want to take glue or tape or whatever you want to do. I, of course, use zip dry because I am a fanatic about zip dry because it lets you move stuff around. You know I am. Dave and Vicki are probably thinking, that girl and her zip dry. Yeah, no. So I'm just going to go along the edge. And you see I've got some on the outside edge. That's okay, because I'm going to show you something. We're just going to put this together like that. Okay. And we're going to take it over on the back and squish it down. Now, there's some that might get out on the edge. That's okay. It's just like rubber cements. How many times can you do that with glue? You just rub it off and poof, it's gone. Okay, so we have our bottom flap. Then we're going to do our top flap the exact same way. Okay, I'm going to lay it on there and make sure it's nice and aligned. Just like that. Then I'm going to turn it over. Run my little piece of strip of glue. You can also do that with a... Um, with double-sided tape, you know, the score tape or equivalents. And now we have the flip on our card, okay? The extra white piece is to go on the back to hide all of that. All right, so we're just gonna put it on real quick. All right, and there we have it. And Zip Dry lets you move it, which I love. And it also lets you remove it. So if I get this down and I decide, you know what, I don't want white, I want a different color on the back, it lets you remove it for about a minute. And you just rub that off and it's like you never even use the paper. So we have the, our front, just like this, we have our, flip, our flaps. Now it's a super easy as just looking at the picture and assembling it. I like to ink the edges because it gets rid of that little white line there. I don't use a lot. I just run a little bit around the edges. It just gives it a little something extra. So I'm gonna do that with these two. And I'm going to do that with my grass. Alrighty, you will have a strip that is way longer than what you need and that's okay. So let's just glue these two pieces down. Now it has a really adorable paper on the other side too. Feel free to use whatever color and whatever side you want. I do not mind. I'll never know. And even if you were in my class doing this, I still wouldn't care. It's your card. You can do with it whatever you want. I'm going to move that around perfectly. This is where zip dry really comes into play because if you work this hard at cutting out all these pieces, you certainly don't want to have it be, have one edge be bigger than the other, right? Is that just me or is everybody that way? It could just be me. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is put on this red streak. If you notice, they open different ways, right? So what we're going to do first is we are just going to take this red piece and we are just going to lay it on the first flap. That's the only thing that we are going to use it for right now. Okay. Then 
when it opens up, we're just going to come in and clip it off. Then we're going to come back and adhere it to this. So it looks like a continual strip, but it's really not. It's a surprise. Okay, you have three little rhinestones that you can also put on there if you would like to. Oops, now see, I forgot my grass. Now look at this. Ah, I can still take it off. I was within that little one minute window. So I am just going to put a little adhesive here. And I'm going to stick my grass here. See how easy that is? I just, I love it. I really do. I was talking to the folks at Beacon the other day that I would just love, 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 love to own Beacon Zip Dry. <laughs> and of course, there will never be. It will never be, but I still love it. And then on this, all I'm gonna do is flip it over and cut right off. And then you'll have a little extra piece to put on some other card. Now, there are two pieces of grass that we can use, an ice cream cone, and we are, oh, let's do this first. I'm torn between wanting a snack and looking like one. So I'm gonna put just a little bit around the edges. Now, if your zip dry gets a little gunky, right, all you have to do is just reach in and take it off. It'll get on your hands and that's okay. It's like rubber cement and it just wears right off. So we are going to just put our frame on here, move it around. Mm -hmm. Goodness sakes, it's not, my hands are not working right. All right, let's try this. There we go. Alrighty, then I am just going to take a little, you can use pop, pop dots, you can use foam tape, you can use whatever you choose. And I'm just gonna put some foam tape on the back and it on the top of my card just where the picture says okay we also have instructions in there for you too so you can use the instructions as well so there we go now it's time to get to coloring for the grass I always 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 use um, YG03 and Y or YG03 and YG06 or YG23 any of them will work Super easy, and remember when I told you guys that if you have the dress-up sets, you can mix and match and do all kinds of things fun with them? This sprig grass is actually from a spring set that we have. And so, I love to use the grass out of that set. You guys see it a lot. And all I'm doing is just coming in and putting some details in there. That's all there is to it. If you want, you can also take your ink and do the top edges because that's what my grass looks like now it's kind of dead on the end because it's hot very hot all right then we will do his shorts in our blue color so i am using 93 and 95 all right super easy just going to go across the whole thing it's like that now, if you have the same marker, if you're new to Copics, if you have one marker, you can always shade with that same marker. And that looks like it's got a whole lot of ink, so I'm gonna take a little of it off. You can come back in and shade with that marker. I filled it just a tad too full. All right, just like that. So if you had one marker, you could still make really, really cute shorts like that with with shadows right okay so one marker will actually give you two or three shades of the same color now I'm running short on time so I'm not going to shade the rest of it I'm going to use E33 and come in and just do his belts 
And then I'm going to use E47. These are also the colors I'm going to use on the giraffe. Just to color the belt buckle in, and he is good to go. We have our ice cream cone, which I want to do pink. Now, if I had more time, I'd come in with the second color, make it a little shaded. I want to do the ice cream cone in E33. And then we're going to take the giraffe. Now, you guys are just not going to believe this, but I'm going to do the entire thing to make it so super easy. All in E33. Not the eyes. And when you use Copics where you can, or any alcohol marker, use a circular motion, okay? To get them to blend. And of course, I'm running a little dry on my maca. All right, so we have that colored down first. That's going to be our lightest color, E33. I'm going to come back in with an E35, and we're just going to start shading him, okay? A little bit there, some underneath here, down along this. You're like, oh, she's coloring out of the lines. Yep. I do that a lot. But we're just going to cover it up. So his legs are going to be a little darker because they're closer to the ground. The tail's going to be darker. And just under his arm, okay? Maybe his ears are going to be darker. Okay, now I'm going to come back in with my original marker if it has any ink left in it at all. And we're just going to blend that out with circles, okay? You see how the shadings come into play? Yeah, we're getting there. Then I have one more marker. We're going to add a little bit of shading to this and this. We're going to add the dots in. Just like that. Now I'm not going to worry about his legs because he's going to have shorts on, right? And I use a dark one. I played around with the colors of this giraffe a lot when I first got him. Sometimes he's a little more yellow. Sometimes he's not. You just never know. Whatever fits your card. Now, on this case, my my uh, I used a scan and cut to cut this out. A whole bunch of them at one time for the kits. So, I have to come back in and trim this just a little bit. Hopefully, all of yours are already nice and trimmed out. All right, we're going to make his little, da -da -da, just like that. I don't know what those are called. Does anybody know what those are called on a giraffe? What are these called? Hmm. All right, so now we're going to put his shorts on him. All right, and this is where the dress-up stuff comes into play. Sometimes I sit around and I stamp all my dress-up sets out. And, uh, oh, it's not down there yet. I'm running out. And sometimes I just color a whole bunch of clothes just so I can play later. Is that adorable or what? And finally, for his eyes, I always just add a little bit of blue in the corners of the eyes. Okay. So now we are just going to glue our grass down. Just like that. You don't have to have extra grass if you want to emulate this card. That's fine, too. We are going to pop up this little guy with some foam tape. I'm going to do his head and his little body. And we'll just put him on here. And I did put him over the top. It'll, oh, 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 did you see what I did there? You can't do that. Oh, you can't do that. You can't put that on his head. You have to put it on his neck. Me bad. You have to see, I'm glad I did that because now you guys know, right? Put it on his neck, but don't get it on the top of the card. Yay! We're going to glue a little more grass on here. If you guys notice, I lay my zip dry sideways when it gets uh, down to the bottom because it does take a while. Okay, come on. There we go. 
And finally, we're going to put an ice cream cone in his hand. And that's as easy as it is, folks. We just made just a super quick card there, right? And it's adorable. It opens up now. If you want to go really detailed, you need to join me for the make and take on July 11th. And this is what we're making. It's, it's a stamping one. So I'm going to show you all the things that Versamark can do. And so we are going to basically make an inside and an outside of a card. This is so much fun. Don't forget, our specials are buy six funny bones and choose your seventh one for free. And I hope you enjoyed everything. If you don't know about us, I hope you do now. Come visit us at RileyandCompanyOnline.com. Have a fabulous day. Thanks, everybody.